Are you ready? Okay. Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Yes, I have some makeup on today. I do not have any shadow or mascara or lashes on or liner because I am reviewing a palette today that I purchased. Um, it is online exclusive only and it's caused a little bit of controversy in the makeup community, especially with a certain uh, individual. This is the palette I am going to review. It is the Wet n Wild 40 palette. Yes, this is the one that James Charles posted all over Twitter about saying, oh, that looks just like my palette with Morphe. So I think I am going to review them together. Not sure, but I am. Only because I want to. Because I do see some similarities in these products. Um, this one does have 40 shades in it. James Charles has 39. This one is $19.99. His is 39. So, I mean, you can use any co any uh, influencer code that you want, like, you know, James or uh, J Star. I use J Star because his goes to charity. Um, he doesn't take any of the proceeds from it. So if you want to use a good code that does something on Morphe, if you want to buy a Morphe product, use J Star. Or, you know, use whatever you want. I don't care. So anyway, this is the palette. I ordered it online myself. I, of course, I buy all my makeup. I don't get any, uh, I don't get any PR with the exception of one company. Um, so, this is what it looks like inside. Yep, let me take the plastic off. Oh. Maybe I won't take the plastic off. side of the Wet n Wild 40 palette. As you can see there are 40 pans and as you can see the middle row is not a huge pan row like the James Charles palette. And this is the inside of the James Charles palette. As you can see there are some alliterities but if you notice that this middle row right here is bigger. These also have an insert with the names on it, whereas the Wet n Wild just has the plain plastic insert, no names. There's no names for their shadows either. Okay. So to be a little, uh, I guess, controversial. Uh, this is gonna be a pain in the ass because they're so big. Okay. I'm trying to get these in the frame. All right, so here are both palettes. The one on top is the Wet n Wild, and the one on the bottom is the James Charles palette. There are lots of similarities in both of these palettes. Color placement is similar here and there, but I also think that there's a couple of colors that are different in this one than in the James Charles palette. So let's get into these palettes. Now, what I'm gonna do is, um, not to waste any time today because I'm going to be doing a makeup look with these. So I will insert um, swatches of, I'll insert swatches right now. Okay, so this is Editing Reina. As you can see, the uh, different colors, how they're kind of similar, but they're not exactly the same. There are shades in here that do look similar, but not perfectly the same. Of the palettes, I'm gonna swatch them side by side. I'll put his number and I'll put the name of his product with the similar one from the Wet n Wild next to it. So that'll probably take up a little bit of time because I might have to do a couple different photos. So I will do that in a little while, but 
I am going to create an eye look with these and I think I'm just gonna go oh, see there's difference because that one up there is a shimmer and this one down here is a matte so I might just do like a fall look today like some purple and orange I'll do some purple and orange now there's gonna be a slight difference purple orange red maybe and some yellow but the difference is that um if I use if I use this orange right here and the Wet n Wild palette it's actually a matte in James Charles palette he doesn't have a shimmery orange like this there is a similar one like this so I might just use this instead and blow it out with a little bit of the yellow because the yellow seems similar I just stuck my finger in there so let's get on with this. So I think I'm gonna use, I'm gonna start with the Wet n Wild one since this is the video for it and then we'll, we'll do Wet n Wild on this side and James Charles on this side. Are you ready? Now as I use the colors, I'll throw a little picture here with the, the color that I'm using so that way you know which one I'm using in the Wet n Wild palette because they are not named. I'll do the same thing for the James Charles palette as well even though they are named in the palette. So, <clears throat> excuse me, I did not mean to do that. Anyway, as you can tell, I already have makeup on so what I'm going to do is put this one aside for right now because I'm going to go into this first. I'm just going to throw a little bit of powder under my eye so that way uh, if there's any fallout it doesn't ruin my makeup because I am doing a foundation review and if that is up before this I will link it in a card right here. I think I got the slide right this time. And I'll link it also down below in the description box just in case. I will also link all the makeup that I'm using down below but in case you're wondering about this beautiful lipstick. I'm actually using two products. I'm using a Sugar and Spice lip pencil from Gerard Cosmetics with their lipstick in Mystic Moon. Now, I'm not a real big lipstick person. I like I like the uh, liquid lipstick because it stays on longer, but right now my lips are dry, so it looks like a butthole when I use it, so I get butthole lips. So anyway, I decided to use this today, and actually I am loving it. It is so creamy and hydrating, but that's for another video. Okay, so before I get into these palettes, I just wanted to do give you a little bit of information, but I believe I already gave all that to you because they're, the 40 palette is exclusive online. There's 40 shades. I will put all of the ingredients listed in the description box. Um, uh, let me look at their website real quick. They do offer afterpay, but it has to be on items, it has to be $35 or more. And like I said, it is an online exclusive. Um, they limit them to four. And it, it's gluten-free, fragrance-free, and cruelty-free. Um, and like I said, the ingredients I will list in the box below. The James Charles palette. It is, like I said, $39. You can buy it online. You could go to a Morphe store or you could go to your local Ulta and pick it up. Um, if you buy it online, you could do four, you could do the afterpay with um, four interest-free payments of $9.75. That's USD. Um, this, uh, the finishes are matte, metallic, and shimmer. This is the Unleash Your Inner Artist. And like, um, and I will put the ingredients down below. I can also put down the shade names as well if you would like. Um, let's see what else is there on this one. Like, I'm gonna put the ingredients. I do not know if they are cruelty free. Does anyone know if Morphe's cruelty free? Or vegan or anything? I don't believe they're vegan. But I don't know if they're cruelty free because it's not listed down below. Okay, so I scooted you in just a titch bit more so you could get a little bit closer to the look. Um, and actually, I don't have my eyeshadow primer, so... Okay, so I'm going to go in with a little bit of eye primer. I'm just going to use the Anastasia Beverly Hills eye primer. I've used it before. 
Now I don't have a lot of brushes to switch back and forth. I'm going to try not to use the same brushes on both eyes, but I do have my towel here that I can wipe them off with because I can't find my color switcher. So I'm going to have to buy a new one, I guess, when I go to Sephora. Okay, now I'm going to take my... Take some translucent powder. I'm just going to take some Laura Mercier because I've used this the other day when I was uh, doing it and it it didn't do bad. So I'm definitely going to look crazy for a little bit and that's probably way too much because I am not used to doing stuff like this so please don't mind me looking crazy. Okay, so I am just gonna take a pencil brush. Mind you, it is it looks dirty, but it's not, it's clean. See? It's clean. And I'm gonna go into this orange color and the um, Wet n Wild palette. Now remember, I'm doing this side Wet n Wild, this side James Charles. And I'm just gonna put this in my hooded area part. And I also want to reiterate to you that yes, I'm putting it in my crease, but if you look at my eyes straight on, you can see this one is a lot more hooded than this one. It's also because of age, but I have to put my crease color up higher so you can see it. Because if I was to actually put it right here in the crease, it disappears. Now I'm not witnessing any fallout yet. And I'm just packing the color on because you get the most color payout when you pack it on. that aside because that's my orange brush. Now, this one is clean too but does not look it. I'm going to go in, I'm not sure what brush this was, it's just a little pencil brush. I know it was a Morphe brush but I got it from um, Major Sparkle on Etsy. I will link her down below. I have several of her brushes and I bought them because they were blinged out, but they're Morphe brushes, so they are amazing. <clears throat> now I'm going in with a little JS12 brush from Morphe and Jeffree Star, and I'm going into this yellow color. Now there is kickback in this pan, and I'm just going to blow out this orange. Now these colors are quite pigmented and very pretty, so I am loving it. Okay, now I'm going to take just a little bit more of that orange and just dab it just a little bit, just to make it a little bit darker. There we go. Now, I think I'm going to take another pencil brush, not as big though, um, this is a, this is a Farrah 105E pencil, it's clean as well, I used it in a previous video but I'm now, it's, it's clean, it just doesn't look it, and I'm going to go into this purple, and just put it in the corner, It is a little patchy. I wonder if I use a different brush. Let's try a different brush. I do have a little fallout from the purple. And it is a little patchy. <laughs> it's When I'm blending it, it's blending away but that's okay, because I want it to blend into the orange, but I'll add a little more. Okay. 
That took a little bit of work. All right, now I'm gonna just clean up this right here with uh, a makeup wipe. And then I'll put a little bit more of the primer on it. But I'm gonna do like a little faux cut crease. It's not gonna be a 100% cut crease, I don't think. Go back into just a little bit of my Anastasia primer. And I'm going to take this brush. I think this is like the only thing good that came out of Unique was this cream shadow brush. Because that's what it is. I use it all the time for cut creases because it's so flat and it's kind of round. So I might have to get another one because I don't know if I have another one anywhere. Okay. Oh, I almost dropped my mirror. As you can see, I have to go up really high with my cut crease or you won't see it because this eye, I just, I really wish I could get it surgically fixed. Now I'm going to go in with a blue shimmer on this brush. This is a Luxie 245 small shader brush. I'm going to go into the blue shimmer and just pack that right here. I'm going to wet my brush a little bit just to see how it's going to look while it's wet because it, it's a very gorgeous color and it's coming out beautiful. But I'm going to put a little bit on my brush and wet it just to see if it comes out of any blind deer. Did I just say blind deer? What is blind deer? I'm gonna go back into that purple a little bit more and just put it right here where they meet together just to blend them together. So now I'm going to take another flat shader brush. This is the, um, I don't know. This is from Alamar Cosmetics um, and the name is completely wiped off. I know this is part of one of their trio sets, the first trio set. I will link it down below. And I'm gonna, oh crap, that's the wrong color. I'm gonna go into this green color, the lighter green shimmer, and just pack a little bit next to the blue. Another small brush, this is the uh, Luxie 246 Precision Crease Brush. Precision Crease Brush. And I'm gonna go into this gold shimmer. Mm. You know what I think I'm gonna do? I'm gonna take a little bit of this yellow and pack it there and then put a little bit of the gold over it. Okay, so far these colors are working beautifully. Um, I do kind of like my look. I don't know how much I love it. Okay. But anyway, I am going to wipe this powder off. Okay, so I'm back. I am just gonna use a little bit of Jeffree Star's um, Royal Tea in my waterline because I love using liquid lips in my waterline, especially when they're vegan and they're cruelty free and they don't, and they're, they're eye safe because it just lasts longer. Now I'm gonna go back into this purple shade and just put that right up next to my waterline.
I'm gonna go in with a little bit of this orange and just Now I'm gonna go in with that yellow again, if I can find my brush. And I'm just gonna bring it down in the corner and down to there. And then take a little bit of that gold. Okay, so now that that eye look is done, now what I am going to do is, um, that purple is horrendous. It's just so patchy, it's not even funny. Alright, anyway, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to maybe try to fix that purple, but I'm going to put on some liner and lashes. Actually, you know what? I'm just gonna fix the side. I'm gonna do the side first, and then I'll do the liner and lashes. So, okay. So I don't know where my sh my my camera cut off at, but I might have to mix two of the James Charles colors together because I used this purple right here, and it does look similar to this one, but it's not 100% similar. So I'm gonna swatch it for you. See how they're different? This is the James Charles and this is the Wet n Wild. James Charles, Wet n Wild. See how they're slightly different? So I might have to take a titch bit of the darker purple to mix it in to get a similar color to the, the Wet n Wild one. I don't know if it's going to be the exact same color, but... Uh, we're gonna go with it. Okay, so I'm gonna go into the orange color like I did with the James with the Wet n Wild palette on the pencil brush. I'm gonna put it up in my my crease. Now I'm going to go into the color B. He has kickback too. And um, blend it out. Okay. Now I have to go back into that rusted color just a little bit and touch up where I just removed that orange right here. Okay, now I'm going to go into single. I'm gonna go into single and put that on just to see how it's gonna compare to the other purple and if I have to add a little bit of the escape to it. I can't get the color to stick right there. See right here, right there how it's patchy. It's pretty much the same thing over here. I just don't know. I don't know guys, it's the purples are just crap. And these two palettes. If you ask me though, the wet and wild one came out better than this one. This one's just, Patchy is all hell. Clean up my lid a little bit. Now 
Now I'm going to go back into the Anastasia and put a little bit more primer on that eye just to cut out that crease. I went into this color with the Wet n Wild palette as the blue. James Charles palette does not have that. As you can tell, there really isn't a blue shimmer. So I'm going to probably have to go in with this one and then this one right there just to lighten it up a little bit. So I probably should have thought about that before I went in with the blue shimmer in the Wet n Wild palette. But hey, it is what it is and I can only do what I can do. It's actually... Hmm. It's not a shimmer, but it's not that bad of a color. It just doesn't have the glitter in it like the Wet n Wild does. The other issue I have is the green I used. That's the green from the Wet n Wild palette. The closest one I have is Walk from the James Charles palette. And if you see, it's more olive color. So I wonder if I take that one and mix it with a little social blade, which is that color above it, if I'll get the same shade. I seriously doubt I will. But like I said, these palettes are similar, but they're not all the same. So you can see by the trouble I'm having with the blue and now the green that they're not the same colors in every in each palette. So I think I'm just gonna mix a little bit of guac with hello to try to get that green color and maybe just pray to God it works. It is definitely not the same color, but it's not bad. This one's more of a green. This one's more of an olive color. What would happen if I threw a little social blade on top of it? Oh, if I throw a little social blade on top of it, I get a little bit more closer to this green over here. So this color is Guac Hello and Social Blade is what I'm using for the green, whereas I use just the green shimmer in the Wet n Wild palette. And it's similar. Okay, so now my other issue is I don't have a gold shimmer in the James Charles palette either. So to get the gold, like this right here, I'm not sure what I can do. Maybe I can mix it. See, there's a color like this, but darker in the James Charles palette. He doesn't, he's got so good. He has wig. I mean, I just don't know which one of those are gonna play well with that yellow. Okay, so let's pop the yellow on if I can find my brush because I keep moving stuff. All right, let's pop B on again. Okay. Maybe if I do a little bit of wig over top of it, because wig is the closest gold. Mm. And 
It's not the same, but it's gonna have to do. Okay, you can tell that it is darker on this side over here than it is that side because like I said, I don't have a true gold over here. So we pop a little bit of yellow back on and let me go into so good and put that on top. Definitely not the same. Definitely not. So here we are guys. Here we are peeps. These are, I'm sorry, they're similar, but they're not the same. Just saying. So now I'm gonna wipe this crap off my face. Let's finish this eye look. What is that? Again, going in with the Jeffree Star. Roy I'm royal. I'm royalty. Now I'm going to go into the color single again. I'm going to put that right next to that purple. If I can get it on my eye. Okay, so my camera cut off for some reason because this is the maximum recording time. However, I just took a little bit of that rustic color and put it underneath after I put that purple. And as you can see, it took off that purple that I had there. So I'm gonna go back into the purple and add that back on. And this is as good as it's gonna get. These purples and these palettes are absolute garbage. I'm sorry. I mean, I know purple is hard to work with and purple is hard to make, but these, they're, they're patchy, very patchy. And I've tried several brushes to build them up with. I mean, I, I don't know what to do other than just have it look like junk. And the purples are horrible. So with that being said, um, I'm gonna go and I'm gonna put on liner and lash, mascara and lashes and hope to God it pulls all this together. They're very beautiful palettes, they very are. They very are. And most of the colors work really well, but if you see, this is, this is the, this palette, this side right here is the, wet and wild and in person, not on the monitor, the purple held up a lot better than the purple over here because this is more, can, can you see? It's all patchy. I, I don't know what else to do with these purples because they're just not working. I mean, I guess I can just blow it out and just make it not patchy by, you know, buffing it as into the orange. I don't know. So anyway, I'm going to go throw on some liner, mascara, and lashes, and I will be right back, and I will show you the finished look, and then I will give you my full, complete thoughts on both of these palettes. Okay, so I am back. I have finished the look. I threw on some mascara. I did some roller lash. Um, I did do a little bit of black eyeliner just on the top a little bit and I used the Anastasia liner and my lashes are by Kiss. They're triple push up, the triple push up collection. They're called garters. These are beautiful. So here is what it looks like. Um, there, I, I went in with the darker purple with the James Charles palette and darkened it up a little bit over here and I tried to darken up the Wet n Wild as well. The purple's still patchy. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna zoom you in real quick so you can see it and then I'll let you know what I think. So this is the Wet n Wild side. Okay. 
and this is the James Charles side. The purple is a little, it's crap on both of them. So this is what both eyes look like. As you can tell, the green is different and the yellows are different, as are the purples. You can't really tell too much with the yellow and orange on the top, just the yellow on the inner corners. This is the Wet n Wild, this is the James Charles. Okay, I'm zooming you back out. I've used the James Charles palette before, I never did a review on it. I do love the palette, just not the purples. So, my thoughts on this right here so far is I love this palette. I love it just as much as I love the James Charles palette. It is two totally different palettes, two totally different formulas. There are similarities, but they are not identical, people. They are not identical. And as you can tell by what I did on my, my eyes, I had to use a different blue and it doesn't have the shimmer that the Wet n Wild does because the Wet n Wild has a shimmer. And then over here, I had to mix three colors for the green to get it similar to the green on the Wet n Wild side. So with that being said, what do you think of these palettes? Let me know in the comments down below if you think they're exacts or this is a very good dupe. It is a very good dupe and that's what it is. It's not an identical dupe, it is just a dupe. There are similar colors in here that are in this palette. They're not identical. There are a couple that are that I use, like the like the orange, and you really can't tell with the orange, but I don't know. I, I, I honestly, I don't think they are exact. And I will show you that also with, and I also showed you that with the, um, the swatches, how the colors are different in each palette. So anyway, my thoughts on the Wet n Wild palette, I love it. If you love the James Charles palette and you can't afford it, definitely pick this one up. Again though, it is only online. It's exclusive to online only, it is not in the stores. Um, the colors blended beautifully minus the purple because I told you I didn't like the purple in either palette. So anyway, I maybe I'll check back in and let you know how it wears, so we'll see. Um, with that being said, um, I'll, yeah, I'll check back in. I'll check back in towards the end of the night and let you know how it wears. So anyway, if you do like the video, give it a thumbs up. Um, if you uh, have not already joined my little family, then uh, subscribe. It would mean the world to me. And uh, hit the notification bell down below so you know when I upload new videos. I've uploaded two videos last week and I'm going to try it again this week. So we shall see because I'm doing foundation series as well. Like I said, this is a foundation test. That video will be linked down below if it's up first. If not, this video will be linked in that video. You know how it goes. So anyway, I will talk at you guys later and I will see you on the next one. Bye. Hi everyone. I decided to come back for one final check-in for the Wet n Wild 40 palette. I did go out shopping to a couple of stores. I got some compliments on my eye makeup. Even the girl at Sephora was like, wow, close your eyes. I want to see that. So anyway, that made my day. It made me feel really good. Um, she was very surprised that Wet n Wild, that was Wet n Wild and it stood up. So I think it is amazing. There's no creasing. There's no creasing on either side. The only thing that was an issue is the purple's a little patchy, but it was buildable. It's, tr it's, I was just upset because it wasn't working out. So, you know, trashy, saying it's trash. It's not really trash. The purples are hard to work with. Purples are hard to do. Um, a lot of companies have issues making purple. So, I mean, it's not unexpected. It is very pretty though. It's very beautiful. I do like how the purple pops a little bit. So I can't complain. Um, yeah, it's, it's beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. And like I said, this is not an exact dupe for this. Not an exact dupe at all. If you even want to call it a dupe because of the fact that you saw what I had to do. The blue that is kind of similar, but this green that for in the James Charles palettes, I had to use three different greens to get it to similar to this green over here. And they're really, there's really not a lot of colors that are the same in the 40 palette and the James Charles palette. So 
If you like the James Charles palette and you can't afford the price, I would run out and get this one. So far, I haven't had an issue with the colors, with the exception of the purple so far, and I used quite a bit in the palette. Um, I recommend it. It's $20. That's a great price point for it. Um, but you know, I'm not saying don't go get this one if you want it because I love this palette just as well. So I'm not digging anybody here, but this one, I'm sorry, is totally, totally worth it. Definitely worth it. So if I was you and you want to try it, don't sit on it because I know this is online only and I believe it is limited. It's limited edition. I don't think they're keeping it in their line. Um, so anyway, uh, with that being said, I will see you on the next one. Bye.